welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love it if you consider subscribing. It is a beautiful day today, no humidity hardly at all. Well, there's some, but it's a wonderful day. I hope you are having a great day wherever you are. Okay, what I have for you today is a spring decorate with me. This time it's gonna be my dining room table and my drink station. Maggie's in there on her blankets, covered up, <laughs> but I'll bring her out towards the end of the video and let her say hi. So let's hop on into this spring decorate with me for 2023. I have my table, uh, I took everything off except this runner and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm leaving it on. Now I'm trying to be very careful. I can't show you into the living room because there's some new things going on in there and I don't want to spoil it. And I can't show you that way because, well, I can't show you this way because there's some new things. And I can't show you that way because we have some stuff where we're working in the living room there. So let's just say this is gonna be a very big challenge for me, but I'm gonna to try to keep everything right here contained so this is all you see. So let's start decorating. Okay, the other day, and if you missed my haul, I'll go ahead and add it. Um, in the description box of this video, but I picked up this at TJ Maxx. I think it was $5.99. And I just wanted to fill it with these faux pears that I picked up last year at Hobby Lobby for 74 cents. They were on a big clearance. The only thing that really aggravated me is they stuck the little stickers right on this. So on a couple of them, when I was pulling them off, this came off. You could probably go in with a marker. I don't know, it's kind of iffy, but the way I have them placed, you can't tell. And I just included some Dollar Tree limes and some lemons in this, and I think it's perfect for spring or summer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to glue this um, because I change things up so much. I could try to pop it off but I was really afraid I might damage this, so I'm just gonna set this on top of this. Okay, I'm just gonna set this right here. I would highly recommend if you do this that you glue it, but I'm not going to, at least not right now. Maybe later, but not right now. I think that gives such a high-end look. I love it, it's so farmhouse French country. I'm totally obsessed with farmhouse French country. I just love how it just looks so welcoming and homey, and that's what my house is all about. Okay, let's continue. Okay, I'm going back in with these chargers that I had on at Easter. I picked them up at Walmart a long time ago, but I love how they add such warmth to the table. This looks so farmhouse French country to me, in my opinion. I just love the different textures. This is adding depth and warmth and texture, and that is that bowl. And then the way this bottom bowl looks, it's just all playing together very nicely. This is how I'm going to have my table. And then when we go to eat, we can just put our plates here and we have it done. Now let's move to the drink station. Okay, I'm going in with this. After Easter, I was looking and I thought, I really want something a little different for my drink station. And then I thought, what about putting these beautiful daisies with pears up there? And I love the idea. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna set it right here. And I love, once again, how farmhouse French country that looks and it adds a touch of, it just sort of elevates your decor one little notch, and I love it. Okay, next I'm going in with this really pretty hearth and hand that I picked up at Target, and I'm gonna set it right here for right now, and I'm going to put in some of this asparagus bush from Hobby Lobby. I'm telling you, this will make anything, any of your decor look so high-end. Okay, I'm just gonna push that down in there. And then I'm gonna take these little stems that I picked up at Michael's on sale and just stick them in there to add some real pretty yellow texture. To just give it 
some a nice little yellow vibe. I think that's so pretty. I'm going to put it up here, kind of tilted, and that is going to complement my yellow that I love so much for spring and summer. Okay, I'm going back in with this. I had this for uh, Easter, and you could leave this out for spring, but I'm going to turn it over and just show this side this time. And I'm going to set it right here, and it plays on the green once again. I love it. Then I'm going in with this honey pot from Hearth and Hand. I love their decor. They have so many beautiful things. I've had this a long time, and I'm just going to set it right here and it plays so nicely with that. Next, I'm going in with these little Hobby Lobby candle holders. I picked them up, oh, I think it was last year sometime, and these adorable little beeswax candles in that beautiful creamy, buttery yellow. They have a timer, and I'm just going to put it right here. And that's gonna add a touch to our yellow. Then I'm going in with the smaller one and a smaller candle. I'm loving this. It looks so soft for spring and I can even keep that that way for summer, although I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna take that painting down though or not. I usually do bees and lemons, but I'm telling you, I love that painting. Okay, next I'm going in with this that I picked up last year at Michael's. I wish I had bought the smaller one, but I didn't. And I'm just gonna set it right like this. Because when you're decorating, let me give you a little tip in case you don't know, you want to try to do triangles. Um, it's more pleasing to the eye. You can do inverted triangles or regular triangles. Now, that's a kind of a modified triangle. That would really be a triangle like that. So I'll probably leave it like this because it definitely gives you that little triangle look. Although I liked it the other way too. Okay, now we're gonna move down here. All right, I'm going in with these cups that I picked up at Target last year. It says, Good Morning Sunshine. I love the bright yellow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back in with them. I used them last year. And once again, you can see the yellow is coming. And I really think this is such a wonderful, soft little decor for your drink station or a dining room or your kitchen, wherever you wanna put it. Okay, next I'm going in with this lemon plate to continue our yellow theme and to also to pick up on the lemons that are on the table and the green that's on that table. And also the pears in that bowl match the pears in this picture and I'll let you see it a little later. I just love how it's all coordinating together, but I'm gonna set this right here. It's just looking so good because once again, we've got the yellow up there and we will continue with yellow that way in a minute. Okay, next I'm going in with this. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. It says coffee. I've had it, I think two years now, I'm not sure. I'm gonna set it right here. And then my little sugar pot, I'm gonna put right here like that. Push that back a little, pull this out a little. And what is a coffee station without something to snack on? Now, these are artificial. I picked these up at, I think it was Hobby Lobby, but you can get stuff like this off of Amazon. And I picked this cloche up last fall, I think it was, at TJ Maxx. And I think that is looking so pretty. I'll let you see closer in a minute. Okay, I'm going in with this arch that I picked up at Hobby Lobby on sale a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I hauled it for you all, and I was going to put it up on my shelves. I may go get another one and when they're on sale and do that. I'm not sure, but I really like it down here. So I'm gonna put it right here, but it adds a really nice focal point in that area. 
Next I'm going in with this. I picked it up at Michael's. They're all connected and one of these little bushes again. I'm just gonna put it right in here. Set it in the middle and it's going down like this and down like this, the yellow. Then I'm going in with another one of my beeswax candles from Michael's and this beautiful little pot. I can't even remember. I don't know. I don't know where I got it. Let's take a look at it. Well, this is how I'm decorating so far for spring. I love the cozy farmhouse, French country feel it gives. And it's very, I don't know, it's aesthetically pleasing, I think, okay? So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you Friday. Not sure what we'll be doing. Uh, we're still working on the shelves, hence me trying to hide everything. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't think you'll have the shelves Friday. I think it'll be next week sometime is what I'm thinking if everything goes well. I don't know, we'll see. But I really do enjoy this and I'm glad you could spend part of your day with me. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby and she was conked out on the couch. Were you sleeping? She says, mama, I'm so tired. I just so tired. <laughs> so until next time, bye guys. Bye.